Hello, everyone, and welcome to our class all about Skype. This is David A. Cox with TechTalkAmerica.com. Today, we're going to show you everything from going through and setting up a Skype account, give you a few little tips and tricks here and there. I'm going to try to keep this video as compact as I possibly can. I want to give you, though, a little disclaimer before we begin. Um, so Skype has been around for what seems to be forever. Uh, it was acquired uh, a while back by Microsoft. I believe it was for $4.7 billion, which seems to me like a lot more money than it, I would think that it would be worth. So um, what I want to say about Skype is, is that, you know, everyone has their own opinions on these things. I, I just want to be open with all of you and tell you right now that I personally am not the biggest fan of Skype. Partially because, yes, you probably know I'm a Mac guy. And uh, for Mac users, uh, FaceTime is so much easier. Now, that being said, if you're on an Android device, uh, Skype is still very, very popular. Um, maybe less so now because you can video chat through things like Facebook. Um, but it is helpful for some people out there. You can also use it as a phone. Um, you do have another device that does this. It's called your phone. Uh, but if you're traveling, in, in, especially internationally, it can definitely be useful. And that was actually probably the last time I used Skype. So uh, let's go over today how to set up a Skype account. Let's start with that. So you to set up a, to set up a Skype account, just go to simply Skype.com. And you can click right here to download Skype. It's going to automatically detect uh, what kind of a computer you're on. As you may have noticed, I am on a Mac. If you're on a PC, there are few parts of this video that might look slightly different, but it's basically all the same thing. So just click here to download Skype, okay? And it's just gonna kind of show you, hey, you can get Skype on all your various devices, whether it's your computer, your phone, your tablet, etc. So hit get Skype for whatever it may be, and you're basically good to go. Now there's a couple of things you should know about Skype as far as like how they charge. So to make a Skype to Skype call, meaning you're calling through your computer, your phone, but you're calling a Skype account, not someone's phone number, that's all free. Okay, the only parts where they really charge you is when you get into using it as a phone. And if you do make a lot of international phone calls, it might be a good idea. I just, again, want to emphasize if you are an iPhone user, uh, and if the other person has an iPhone user, you can use FaceTime and get around that. Um, it's certainly a lot easier, at least, again, in my opinion. Um, there is a business version of Skype. We're not going to really go over the business version. I just want to at least acknowledge that it exists and give you a little bit of what it can do. So one of the things that Skype for business can do uh, is you can have basically conference calls. So you can have online meetings with video and audio for up to 250 people. Uh, and as you can see here, based on the pricing that's on the screen, it's around uh, from $2 per user per month. So you can imagine at 250 people, that's not going to be a cheap tech bill. Um, and I believe they do make you pay for the whole year up front. I could be wrong on that one. A um, few other options, you can see them all there. You're welcome to check them out on your own. Um, but I'm going to really just kind of walk you through the, um, the, the free version today. Rates. Okay. The rates can definitely get to be a little bit confusing here. Um, so they give you kind of a way to kind of look at look it up. So it's like let's say I'm in I'm in the United States. Let's say I want to call the UK. Uh, it'll give you a couple of different ways you can do it. You can either do a Skype credit, which is just kind of a pay as you go option, which is what I would usually recommend for most people, or you can do a uh, monthly subscription. Okay, so obviously different strokes, different folks. Uh, Skype credit uh, I found to be very useful. I, I used this myself when I was on a cruise. Uh, this is uh, five years ago, or four years ago, sorry, uh, for our, our, um, our honeymoon. Uh, and it was very handy. What I actually used Skype for more than anything was I would use it as a phone to call my voicemail and just check my messages. That's how I would use it, um, uh, especially when we would get on land, it was through Europe, so we would go to like a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, and just do it that way. That way you're not paying insane cellular data charges. Okay, so Skype credits uh, are easy. The one thing I just want to give you a little bit of a warning about Skype credits is that they will kind of go into, a, they will deactivate after a while. You can get them back, but you have to sign into your Skype account through the web, okay? Um, it's not that they expire, it's just that they they, I don't know what to say. They just they become inactive. 
Um, that's actually their wordage. I have it here. Uh, and that timeline is after 180 days, so that you know that. Okay, so let's go over signing up. We're going to go to uh, do, 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 Skype. Sign in, but in this case, I'm going to sign up for a fake account. I actually already have a fake account that's uh, on the other screen here. I just want to kind of walk you through the process real quick. Sorry if it's just a little bit slow. It's because we are live right now. We have folks tuning in from all over the world. This part where I wish I had elevator music. Phew, that took forever. Create a new account. All right, let's do it. Okay, so it's going to ask you your name. So I'll do, uh, I'm going to do just dummy. And your email address. Okay, so I'm just going to put in a fake one here. Always do it at AOL.com when you're doing a fake one. Copy and, oops, copy and paste. Okay. And then it's going to ask you some profile information. I want to give you some advice about this. Um, I would probably put in what country and what city and state. I'd probably leave the rest out of this. Um, the only reason why you want to put your profile information as far as city and state goes is you're helping people who you're friends with identify that it's you. You'll see uh, how that comes back in a little bit. You'll see here not all these questions are required. The only one that actually is required is country uh, and language. Okay. Um, they ask you, how are you going to use Skype? It's not really that important. And then you're going to choose a Skype name. It's important that you should know your Skype name. It is the easiest way when you're trying to connect with someone uh, to find out, um, ex to know that it's them. Uh, one of the things that I have been frustrated by uh, as far as Skype goes is it is very, very difficult to the average person to delete your account. So, um, and more effort than most people are willing to spend to actually do it. So if I go and I search for my own name, I find addresses that go back like five to 10 years. Um, just old Skype accounts, the email address that I had registered it with doesn't exist anymore. So they just kind of add up over time. So I, in the whole $4.7 billion evaluation, I question how many of those accounts are actually active. Just my food for thought. Okay, so you put in your Skype name, you create a password, please write it down. Uh, if you have trouble with remembering passwords, I just want to make a strong recommendation. We have a great, great class that we did a while back. It's one of those pieces of software that I tend to recommend to everyone, regardless of user knowledge. There's a great app for everything called 1Password. It's number one password. Okay, you can find that, of course, on techtalkamerica.com or our YouTube channel. Type in these annoying little codes here and agree you're good to go. So once you've got that, let's screen over. Okay, this is basically what Skype is going to look like. Now, one of the things that Skype has been really trying to push is they want you to uh, integrate it with Facebook. Now, my advice with this, don't do it. Okay, if you want to video chat with your friends through Facebook, you can do it through Facebook. There's no reason to bring Skype into all of this. So then the first thing you're going to probably want to do is you're going to want to find your friends, right? So what you're going to do is you can use this little uh, search bar up here if they're already in your contacts, but you can also check this out. Go here to contacts here on the left-hand side, okay? And you'll see here that we have a few different tabs here. We have all online Skype and Mac contacts. Just my opinion, I tend to keep it on Skype, okay? And then what I do is hit add contact. Now, this is going to bring you into the search function for if you're trying to find someone who you're already friends with or, you know, that you know this person. So what I'm going to do at this point, um, I already gave you kind of the full little disclaimer that I personally don't really use Skype. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually friend myself so you can kind of see the process. So you're going to search for whatever data you have. Now, the best thing that you can search for is their profile name. That's where it's good to know that information so that if someone says, hey, what's your Skype ID? There's only going to be one person out there who has that Skype ID. Um, but if you don't, you're going to just type in their information and hit find. Please don't send me friend requests. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, and like I said, you will find through here uh, plenty of my old addresses. Uh, dead cowboy. No, that is not me. Uh, here we go. All right, and hit the little icon right here. It looks like a human with a plus button, plus icon next to it. 
okay? And it says, okay, well, actually, I had already approved it because I just taught this class last Wednesday. Normally, what that will do when you hit that button, okay, is it's going to send the person a request saying, uh, so-and-so uh, is requesting to be your friend. And they have to approve it in order for you to see when they are online. So I uh, have already approved it. So you'll see here that when I go back to contacts here at the top left, when I'm under Skype, see how there's, it might be a little bit tough to see, but there's actually this little green check mark up next to the top right corner of my profile image right there. That is not Photoshop, by the way. That is the actual location. That's when we lived in Key West. Um, and so that just means that I'm online. And when I roll my cursor over my image, you can see here with one click, I can place a video call. All right. Um, now, the other thing you can do, you, if you don't see this view here, notice here at the top right corner, we also have a list view. Okay. And there, the green check mark is a little bit easier to read. Okay. So uh, you can click video call, but if you, what if you don't want to make a video call? Maybe you're not, you know, looking your hottest right now. Well, you can also hit that little arrow icon and you can hit call. So that means it's just audio or you can do instant message. Okay, so it's the same thing. It's like a text message, it's just text. Okay, so typically as far as, you know, courtesy goes, uh, most people will tell you it's best to start with an instant message and then go from there to a video call. Um, it's just kind of the, the best way to do it. So let's do it real quick. And what I've got to do is I've got to hit mute really quickly on my phone because uh, if you have two devices that are talking at the same time, you're going to get feedback. So let me call it right now. You're going to see my ceiling in a moment. Okay. And oops. Okay, there we go. So you're now looking at my ceiling. There we go. By the way, those are those, in case you didn't know, those are those little, uh, uh, the original iBooks that you see in the background. Those are real, and believe it or not, they work. And there's my green screen above me. So uh, this is what it looks like when you're doing a live call, okay? Let me just, hold on, let me mute this end here. Okay, great, much better. So uh, if you're holding your phone vertically, it's going to look like that. If you hold it horizontally, it looks like that. Okay, as you can see, it switches back and forth. Uh, if you put your cursor over the screen again, let's go over some of these icons. This button you see here at the top right is full screen, so it'll toggle that. Down here at the bottom, okay, uh, oops, sorry, we have hang up. This is add and share, okay? So uh, I can like share my screen, I can add other people. Um, that's, again, I think that you can only do that um, uh, if, there's, there, if you're a business account, okay? Notice how it's all grayed out. I can also show the dial uh, pad. The microphone icon here is mute or unmute. And then right here is stop video. So it's not gonna kill the call, it's just gonna stop the video feed, okay? And uh, if I hit this little icon here at the bottom right, that'll activate the chat, okay? So let's hang up the call at this point, okay? And that's basically how you do a Skype call. It's pretty simple. Uh, when you open up Skype, you will see over here under recent if you've gotten any, if you've received any requests for someone to be your friend, okay? Um, so if you see someone's name pop up here, uh, my advice is if you don't recognize them, I would not accept it. Again, that's just kind of my advice. Um, let's go over a few of the uh, items in the preferences. So for the Mac version, up here where it says Skype, the second item down is preferences. Uh, I want to say it's under, op it's called options on the PC version, but don't quote me on that one. So basically all the settings here are pretty much good to go right out of the box. I do want to give you, uh, how to show you how to troubleshoot a very common issue a lot of people have had uh, over the years. So if you go to do a Skype call and let's say there's no audio, uh, like they can't hear you or you can't hear them, this is very likely where the issue is. See here it says audio video. So you click on that, it's going to show you your, sorry, I have, I have a thing to block out my webcam. Um, so it's going to say what camera. So if you have multiple web cameras, you want to make sure it's the correct one. Uh, but this is the big one here, microphone. Now, in my case, I use a blue snowball. You've probably seen in some of our other videos. Um, but uh, if for many of you out there, this would be your built-in microphone. Okay, so if they can't hear you, that's the first place you go to check. Speakers, okay? Uh, if you don't hear them, 
this is another thing you want to check. You want to make sure it says built-in output for most of you, unless you, you know, are using something else. I have multiple monitors here, so that's why there's a few other options that you see there. If they're just way too loud, you can adjust their volume right here. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's about that. Let me go through a few other uh, little items that I have here. Um, I do want to tell you that one of the best uses for Skype that I already made a reference to is for those of you who do a lot of international travel, uh, using Skype as a phone to call your own voicemail is a really inexpensive and good idea. Um, so you might want to consider doing that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there are a few extra little options that you can get with Skype that I, I frankly, I just can't really recommend any of them. Um, I don't really know anyone who really needs it, uh, but you can get your own Skype phone number. Uh, and in order to do that, what you basically have to do, hold on, let me copy. Okay, there we go. I'll show you how to do this real quick. So if you go to, uh, if you go to Skype.com, I have to just bring a window down here. Forgive me one moment. If you go to Skype.com and log in, I think I remember my password. Nope. Whew. Okay. Second time's a charm. Uh, if you do need any of their additional features, those are all really easily accessible through the web. Okay, so you can see right here, uh, caller ID. That's one of the things you can do. You can get caller ID. Otherwise, it's just going to say no ID. Uh, Skype to go. Um, it really just kind of shows you that you can get it, you know, on your other devices. Voicemail. Uh, you can get your own unique Skype number, call forwarding, all these extra little additional options. Okay, you can check those out right there. I don't think it's though the kind of thing that a lot of people out there typically are going to need. And uh, I do recommend, like I said, if you have FaceTime, uh, that's where you know some of these features, you, you just really don't need it because you already have it with FaceTime. So that's my little class on Skype. I hope you enjoyed this. For those of you who are watching this class after the fact, I want to really encourage you, check out our website, folks. We do live classes, usually every Wednesday and Saturday. They are open to the public. They're free. What I'm going to do at this point is uh, we have a bunch of folks who are here live right now. I'm going to stick around and answer all of their questions, or as many as I can possibly fit in. Um, and uh, usually then we try to stick around and answer other questions that people have. And we'll see you all next time. So please, uh, if you haven't done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel. For those of you who are watching this after the fact, there's a little button that just popped up on your screen. Just click that with one click. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you all next time. This is David A. Cox with PC Class. Uh, no, 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 no. TechTalkAmerica.com. See, you all knew I was going to screw that up at some point. And tsh, there you go. I did. That's proof that we're live. This is David A. Cox with TechTalkAmerica.com. We'll see you all next time. Class dismissed.